Well, here we are at 121 West Hill Cross, West Hill Street. Excuse me, West Hill Street. Get all these rows mixed up now. I'm going to walk into this house. It is vacant, so we can really take a look around the driveway. And come up to a nice covered, good sized covered front porch, which is actually painted green. So you overlooked. West Hill here. The house next door is that that's what that big packet box is. Looks like they're doing some rehab over there. So if that looked a little unsightly to you in the first shot of the house, that is why. We walk into the living room, which with the original fireplace. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is just saying that the um, the fireplace, narrow plank oak floors, built-in cabinets at the front door, and original trim details highlight the historic charm of this 1920s bungalow. So that will give you a good idea that a lot of this is original. And these are the floors that they're talking about. It's kind of hard to tell in these pictures, but I think you probably know what I mean. They're very narrow. They're only like about an inch and a half wide each plank. So this is the living room when you come in and to the right, to the left, excuse me, is another sitting area. I guess you would use one of these as a parlor or an office. And this room has a decent sized closet in it, so you actually could use it as a bedroom if you wanted to. I think they may be counting it as a bedroom. But that's a good size room there. Again, this family room is a good size also. Shut that, maybe it'll stop beeping. And we come into the dining room, which has a single light chandelier there hanging. And there's a good window for some nice natural light in here. And this is a good size room for a table and chairs for sure. We'll walk into the kitchen which looks like it has definitely been updated. It is not granite countertops. They are laminate countertops in here. All the kitchen appliances, refrigerator, stove, refrigerator, washer, dryer are included in the sale of this home. That is the sign that I just read. And this is the kitchen. Some cabinets right there. And next to that, I believe this must be the washer and dryer area. Yeah. That beep is either an alarm system or a smoke detector that needs the battery change. There is some recessed lighting in here. Oh, I'm having trouble finding the switch. There it is. As you can see, there is some recessed lighting in the kitchen, which makes it a little warmer than a fluorescent light. Come out into this eat-in kitchen area, which is very good size definitely large enough for a table. It could also make it some kind of a little keeping area if you really wanted to do that. And because there is a breakfast bar, so you could actually have stools there and you could have a TV or something in this area if you wanted to. There's enough room. I cannot get out on that deck, but there is the deck. You can see there's a couple rockers out there. And then there's a good sized backyard, not quite as big as some of the other ones that we've been seeing. But there is a backyard with some grass. I'm going to leave the kitchen area and go into the area of the house where the bedrooms all kind of jut off this one little hallway here. There is a storage area right there, pantry. Here is your one full bath with a little period tile. Original tile, I'm sure. I think the bathtub has all been redone, but the floor is original, and there's a pedestal sink in here. That, is that. that would be your main bathroom. And then this is what they're calling the master, which is not the biggest room in town that I've been seeing. You certainly could fit a bed in here and possibly a dresser 
Not so sure about a crib. Let me see if I could get a better view on it for you. But and it's hard to tell, but it is not real big, as you can see. And there is no closet in here. There is a closet in the bathroom, I believe. I'm going to check that out. Here's some more master bath with a stand-up shower. No tub in this room. Pedestal sink and a latrine. And then here would be your closet space. Probably a combo linen closet and his and hers closet. So it might be a problem on that. And let's see. This is another bedroom. And this one is a little, eh, it's probably about the same size as the master bedroom. It's a little darker. It does not get quite as much natural light. It does have two closets in it, though. There's one of them. And then there's another little closet here, which does not have any kind of light fixture. But it kind of reminds me of it's hard to see. But that is the little closet in this secondary bedroom. And then here is the regular closet. And that's a decent size closet for a bedroom. Not too bad for this style of a house. And that is pretty much it for here. Oh, there is a cellar. I keep walking past this. There is a cellar right down here, which I don't know. These stairs look a little rickety. This basement seems to be a lot drier than the other one that we looked at. So that's the basement. And that is it for 121 West Hill. And I will talk to you guys soon. We've got one more house to do today. And I will be sending them to you later on this evening. Bye for now.